Okay, in this video, we're going to just do a basic Calc 1 review type of question. All right, the question says use differentials to give an approximate value of the cube root of 999. Obviously, we would be working this calc uh, problem out without the use of a calculator. All right, so basically, we're going to take a look at that linear approximation formula. So I'm going to write down here f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c. Okay, so there's our linear approximation formula. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a couple values for x and c. Okay, we're going to pick our 999 to be our value for x because that's the number that's given in the problem. Now I want to pick a value of c, which is a cube root, a perfect cube root, one that I can do, and is really, really close to 999. The closer, the better. So um, the cube root of 1,000 is a cube root that we can do, perfect cube root. So we're going to let C be 1,000, okay? Now, I just basically have to go through and then figure out each of these pieces and parts, put them together, add them up, and I will have my approximation. So I need to be able to do F of C. Well, if my function is the cube root there, so then F of C would be F of 1,000, which is the cube root of 1,000, and then that's going to just give me a 10. So that's going to be the value that we're going to replace for f of c there. Okay, now I need to find the derivative of the function and then plug c into it. So my function is the cube root of, say, x. So f of x is going to be the cube root of x. My function is that cube root. So now I'm going to take the derivative of this. It's going to be easier if I think of this as x raised to the one-third when I take my derivative. So f prime of x, taking the derivative of the x to the one-third, we'll pull that one-third down in front. We'll have an x to the negative two-thirds. All right, let's go ahead and simplify that. Get rid of that negative exponent. We'll have a one over three times the cube root of an x squared. Just kind of simplifying that down into a form that we're going to be able to use because now my next step is I need to be able to find f prime of c. So f prime of 1,000. I want to be able to put that into this and make it easy math here. So I'll have a 1 over 3 times the cube root of 1,000. And then I'm going to square that. Since the cube root of 1,000 is 10, it's going to be a whole lot easier to be able to do that math in our head if we do it that way. So cube root of 1,000 is 10. 10 squared is 100. 100 times that 3 is going to be 300. So then I'm going to have a 1 over a 300 right there. All right, so this is my f prime of c value. So I've got a 1 over 300. Just simply plugging in x and c. So this is going to be that 999 minus 1,000. All right, so we're going to simplify this. If I do this, I'm going to have a negative 1. So this will be a negative 1 over 300 right here. So a negative 1 over 300. Now, if I'm going to add 10 to it, I need to get common denominators. So let's rewrite 10 as 3,000 over 300. All right, now I've got the common denominators, all right, so that I can not then do this all without a calculator. Subtracting there, I'm going to get 2,999 all over 300. 300. Okay, so there is an approximation for the cube root of 999 done without a calculator and using differentials or basically that linear approximation formula. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.